Monet Monet here and I am back with another video. Alright guys, so today we are at Popeyes and I heard they got a new IDK meal. Well, if you're interested, stay tuned because we're about to get right into the video. I've been really sitting here contemplating. Let's have a little chit chat. Let's let's chat it out because from the pits of my soul, I don't want to eat another chicken sandwich. I'm not going to hose you. I'm going to get it. I'm going to taste it. But what I really want is them black and chicken strips that my girl put me on to when I did the eating my subscribers' favorite meal from Popeyes. I haven't stopped thinking about them black and chicken strips since that time. I haven't had them since that time. When I tell you I have had it up to here, I don't want no more chicken sandwich. I don't, I don't. You can't complain if you drove yourself up to the window and ordering. You can't be mad. Ain't nobody drag you. Ain't nobody make you do nothing you didn't want to do. Ain't nobody tell you you had to do it. The only person to be mad at is myself. And when I tell you I'm fed up, I can't even look at myself. I can't even look at the camera right now. If anybody else is tired of chicken sandwiches, just 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 drop a little chicken emoji down down in the comments so I know I'm not alone. Cause Lord knows. How you doing? Can I get your um IDK meal? Uh, spicy. The frozen isn't frozen yet. Do y'all just have strawberry lemonade? You want the gel one? Yeah. And then, um, could I also get an order of your black and chicken strips? It's gonna take five minutes. That's fine. Yes, could I get your uh, black and ranch and your Mardi Gras mustard? It's 25 cents for the um, extra Okay. Thank you. 25 cents for some sauce? 20, 25? Y'all, I'm on my way to work. That's why I got this shirt on. Don't mind this shirt. In living color, cause that's what I feel like. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna have a blessed one, cause that man said so. That man said that's what I should do. And you know what? I think I'm gonna take him up on that offer. I ain't even gonna hold you. Y'all, y'all don't need no close up. Y'all don't need no close up, do y'all? My hand sanitizer. I done seen it thousands of times. I'm going to let you get close up, but I ain't going to give you a close up, close up. How you feel about that? Can we agree on that? All right, y'all. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. This kind of look a little bit like the commercial. Wow. I don't know why I'm having deja vu or whatever. Mm, look at it. It do still look good, though. It still look good. Okay, okay. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right on into it. Ain't no reason to wait, you know. It's really not. It's it's really not. So let's just go and do it. All right now. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Woo! Woo. Now if it's one thing I like, it's consistency. Don't threaten me with a good time and then don't follow through. I can't say something like that. Mm-hmm. 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 Tender and juicy. Mm-hmm. Although I am chicken sandwich out, it's still delectable. They ain't had it frozen, so I just got the regular strawberry lemonade. wanted and i chose this i ain't gonna hold you i ain't mad at you i do feel like there were some other things you could have chose but i see why you went with this winter winter chicken dinner it still got that good crunch on the outside see that you hear that? asmr a little asmr it still got that golden corral crunch on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Golden. Crispy, crusty, tender, flaky crust. Still juicy. You know what I'm saying? Not fried too hard. Because you know if it's one thing we're going to do is say fried hard. Not fried 
too hard because it still was able to keep that juiciness on the inside. A brioche, we like a good brioche, don't we? We like a good brioche. We like that. We do like that. Them pickles always add the extra acidity that you need. A good acidity. Yeah. It's still the same. You know what I'm saying? It's the song that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing not knowing what it was. <laughs> okay? Woo! Lord. It's good, but I'm tired of it. I'm tired. I love it. I love it. Love that chicken from Popeye's. They did say you was going to love it. They ain't say nothing about what you do when you tired of it, though. All right. It was nice meeting you again. <laughs> it was so nice meeting you again. Hold on, because I got to show y'all something. These not as big as the other ones. These is little babies. Little babies. The ones I had last time, y'all, cut right from the breast. Okay? Thick. Still hitting up. Hold up. Let me get that black and ranch. Let me get that black and ranch. This ain't even why y'all here. Mm. Let me tell you this. Because if you just so happen to really not know, you know, you, you really don't want that chicken sandwich. These black and chicken strips. Every bite tastes like the first one. Shout out to my girl. Go back and look at my what my subscribers eat at Popeye's video. I don't remember your name, boo, but you did that. You did that. Mm. And another thing. Let me tell you another thing. They can't just get these to you. They don't just sit up under that light. Okay? Because that fried chicken be sitting up under that light sunbathing for hours. I can do this for hours. And hours, and hours, be under that light forever. They can't do nothing with these butt naked ones. It's gonna get a suntan, okay? Last thing you want to do is get these things scorched. Mm. Which in return is mean that each batch got to be made fresh to order. What? Oh, beep beep. Mm. Ooh, dehydrated. So thirsty. The meal is good, y'all. It's cheap. How much this meal? This meal is um six dollars. Hell, you can't beat that. Cause you know Popeyes is expensive. You know what I mean? So if you could get a whole meal for six dollars, do that then. Period. Like that's it. That's the end of discussion. Case closed. All right, y'all. Well, look. I hate to have to eat and dash, but I did say I, I was on my way to work. So I kind of got to go, okay? But I'm going to check in with y'all a little bit later. You hear me? But before I go, let me just say this. Don't let the outside world dictate what you truly believe your wants and needs are. And what I mean by that is watching people on social media, on TV, or people who may have more than you, you may feel like, well, I need this to truly be happy. Not even realizing that the people you idolize in or the things that you see those people with, they not even happy with those things. Everything ain't what it seem exactly to the naked eye. You got to be careful in what you feeding yourself and what you allowing yourself to believe because you can accumulate all of those things and still have nothing. The real goal here is to dissect and figure out what are the things that actually make me happy? What are the things that I actually need? Really do the soul searching to figure out what is it that I am missing in my life and make sure it's not based on what you see someone else having. Because you have no idea what it took them to get there. And you have no idea how they may feel once they actually got it. And yes, people love materialistic things. There's literally nothing wrong with that. But what I'm talking about is your core. What really makes you happy? Because yes, we want materialistic things, but we don't need those things. And I'm talking about what do you need to truly feel satisfied on the inside? It's just a thought. Create a list, write it down, and remember those things so that when you are being influenced by everyday things on social media, TV, and just people that you kind of look up to, you don't warp your own perception of what you know is right for yourself. All right, y'all. Well, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time. Until next time, guys. Peace.